All right, guys, what is up? And welcome to what I can only describe as another absolutely epic day. Um, I'm not really quite sure where to start with this video because what's about to happen is ridiculous. Like, I'm still, basically the last few days or the last few weeks have been so busy and flat out that today has approached so quickly that I haven't really had time to even contemplate it, but basically we are on the road now to collect a new car, and you'll find out more about that shortly. But a bit of backstory first. Uh, earlier in 2015, uh, I was really fortunate to be invited out to Bahrain, and I spent quite a lot of time there on track with uh, the Porsche 991 GT3. I'm sure you can see where this is going. <laughs> um, and after spending just half an hour with that car, I was absolutely blown away. It is ridiculous. Now, I've never been a huge Porsche fan unless it's been the sort of GT3s, the GT3 RSs. Um, but after driving this 991 GT3, I was sold. It was absolutely mine blowing the way this thing sounds when it revs up to 9,000 is insane the turn-in is amazing it's just an incredible package and it makes you feel great when you're driving in anyway so ever since then I would say for the past sort of 11 months I've been searching for the right GT3 and two weeks ago the right car just so happened to pop up for sale and what did I do? I went and bought it <laughs> which I'm still a bit I'm still in a little bit of shock because today is the day we're gonna go down and collect that car it's ridiculous so we're on the road and we're gonna go and pick up a 991 GT3 see you tomorrow all right guys what is up we have just reached JZM Porsche in Kings Langley I've just been inside quickly to see the car and it looks absolutely epic. These guys are so good. Their dealership as well is super clean, super cool, and they have some really tasty cars inside. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go check out this car. Here we go. Um, great stuff. Super nice. So, uh, we're gonna go just so you know, two flashes locks yeah. and the top button there, one flash is going to obviously open the vehicle. Okay. Um, yeah. um, we start on the outside bits on the vehicle, just sort of give you a bit of a guide and stuff. Um, over here we've got washer fluid. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, and underneath here we've got uh, obviously a brake fluid reservoir. Now the reality is, you're not really going to need to play around with that yourself. This so, whole panel actually comes up and okay. things out. And then underneath there, you've got the battery. Now, one thing you do need to be aware of, a lot of people put CTEC chargers on. Right. But obviously, uh, because of the nature of the battery with the, with the start-stop technology, yeah. you have to make sure if you're going to put a CTEC or something on there, it's got to be compatible. Okay. Um, so that is something you do need to sort of look at. Sure. Back down. Okay. And then obviously underneath here as well, yep. you've also got harnesses. Now, the harness has never actually been fitted to the vehicle, okay. um, but again you've got a harness there for the driver's side, Great stuff. Okay. and likewise there's yeah. a box in there for the fire extinguisher. Okay. So obviously being a club sport, yeah. it actually came with a factory half cage, carbon folding bucket seats, yeah. driver's harness and um, fire extinguisher, Brilliant. which okay. you know, just some it, just it. It's a centre tunnel. Now, yeah. I mean it's sort of your call, yeah, I probably won't, I probably won't. I'll probably leave it out. I mean, I will be going on track quite a lot, but I'm quite sure whether or not I go. Yeah. I mean, obviously, it's, it's more of a pass isn't it? Well, that's the problem. That's not like something upset. Well, on the, on the 917, they used to have it central, but it was more in the way. Yeah, I think yeah. they've learned from that now, and now it actually bolts up to the, to the side of the center. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, again, it's, it's an easy fit if you want to pop it in. Okay. Um, the only other items I was just going to mention under here very briefly. Yeah. Um, you have two little compartments. Out. Yeah. Obviously you've got a your tow eye, yep. which you're going to filter in through the cap. There's obviously a cap front and sure. rear, and then you've got a little tool, tool kit in here. Right, that just kind of 
That's it, and then literally just there. clip that bit back in and just yeah. back in. Okay. And then on this side, yeah. you have glue. The, is that you guys get? Glue part. So the idea is that, yeah, so there is no... Yeah, but I've been there <laughs> before. Been there. Well, I mean, I think last the time I used that, I actually had a, a hole that was too big to glue, and it's like sprayed out the side, but... Yeah. What you do is fine. If you picked up like a screw in the centre of the tree, yeah. Yeah. fine. If you've ripped a side wall, forget it. It's yeah. like a phone call yeah. time. So, okay. so that's pretty much yeah. everything under the front. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then it's weird lifting up a, a like an engine bay saying <laughs> That's yeah. it. You can see a nice swathe of car yeah. with two fans. Um, okay. Idea being, and there is no dipstick, it's obviously it's an electronic dipstick. Yeah. Cool. Um, so I'll show you how to access that by the onboard computer. Uh -huh. And then literally you've just got top up the coolant. Other than that, everything's serviced from underneath. Oh, and there's really, you don't need to worry about anything. Okay, okay. great stuff. Yeah, yeah go on. Um, so, obviously, corresponding to windows. Yes. Um, well, you'll also find if you actually pop the key in. Okay. That's going to nominate your mirror, move the glass, obviously, over to the passenger side. Yes. The other thing you'll also find is if you pop it into reverse and you actually you have the switch nominated on the left, yes. it will actually dip the oh, mirror for dip you. Dip it down. Yeah. Brilliant. And then pop it back over to that side and it flips back up again. Cool. Um, this is your onboard computer here. Okay. Um, yeah, and then you've got cruise control on the left, and you've got obviously indicators and um, main beams. Probably worthwhile. Yeah. You just pop your foot on the foot brake. Right. So, switchable sports exhaust, yep. lifting system, and EDK, so obviously that's a sports system, and that's going to remap the gearbox. Cool. Um, what you also find is when that's running, it will also activate the um, sports. Yeah, the uh, PASM, sports okay. active suspension. Okay, cool. Um, you can actually drive the car in sport mode and then deactivate the suspension. Cool. Sometimes yeah. with UK roads, yeah, the surface isn't brilliant. Sure. So, okay. it's, I mean, I personally like driving it in sport. I feel it's a bit more responsive. Yeah, but but I, I like to actually just, just slacken the shocks off a little totally bit. Totally agree. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I think Absolutely. that's a nice compromise. Yep. Um, okay. In terms of um, gearing, Obviously, central rev counter, mm -hmm. um, that's sort of a, a 911 trait that sort of yeah. really followed it all the way yes. through. Um, but you will find here you've got your diagram to basically indicate where you are. So you've got part, reverse, neutral, and drive. Mm -hmm. um, and then this will actually illuminate and it will tell you so you've got your, um, yeah, it's really all your gears on here. Sure. And okay. um, what you can do is, again, once it's in D, you can pop it across into manual mode yeah. and you can then just use this or you can okay. go up and down on the paddles. Cool. This is the first drive. This is the actual, this is the first turn of the wheel in my new GT3. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Christ. This is my first sort of serious Porsche that I've owned and so it's kind of, it's all quite new. So different to a, to a Ferrari, it's so different. Man, this is mad, this is absolutely I still haven't quite taken on board what's going on here. I'm just just casually driving home with a GT3. <laughs> what the hell? Oh god. Right, so time to get into this thing. Let's just see what it's all about. Right, obviously the first few miles I'm really just gonna be learning the, this car. It's funny when I when I jumped into the Speciali for the first time, it still felt like a car that I just knew because I'd owned a 458, you know, previous to that. This is just a totally brand new thing, it's mad. Oh, yeah, it's, it's 
got that, you know, signature Porsche tone. It still sounds like a Porsche, like a proper GT Porsche. I mean, it's, it's the business. And these bucket seats, they're really, they're hugging me nice. That just makes me want to get on the track, you know? And looking in my rear view mirror, not only have I got a massive wing, but I've got scaffolding from a roll cage as well. <laughs> it's just like this race car in this thing, you know? Ah, oh, the steering feels lovely as well, weighted. And I cannot wait to get to grips with this thing and just, under, just understand how great it is. It feels so purposeful. Even at this speed, it just feels so in tune with the tarmac, you know? sat nav on at the minute I don't really know even how to turn that thing down or off or anything so yes Porsche man what on earth it feels alien to me Please leave the round now a Porsche owner <laughs> what the so excited to explore this thing honestly it just feels like a road going race car it's 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 stiff but it's still well dampened that it's not gonna like shake out your teeth yeah cool very very cool so far and it has you know okay it doesn't have the old Metzger engine in it but you can there's still that sort of idle chunter that you got from the 997 it's not quite not quite as bad, but... <laughs> you know, even before I bought this car, I was researching exhausts. I'm gonna have to spend some time with it. I don't, is it gonna need one? I don't know, it sounds epic as it is. I don't know. Let's spend some time with it and see. Visibility's good, everything's good. Everything is more than good. Everything is absolutely epic. Yeah, very cool. It's going to be interesting driving this back to back with the Speciali. When they launched this car, the only real car they had to compare it to at the time was the Speciali, which is odd because they are in a totally different price bracket. You know, the engine on the Speciali has a lot more power. This is pushing out a conservative 475 brake, uh, whereas the Speciali is 600. I'll tell you what though, this, this, I reckon 475 is a lie. This, this feels like it's got some go. <laughs> I don't know if I need a pipe. I don't know. So far, it's putting a big grin on my face. That's what a pipe's all Pipes are grin pipes, you know? Man. Wondering if I should have done the Porsche thing sooner. But I've only been driving five minutes. <laughs> That's great. But these, these seats are comfortable too. They are good. So it sort of, it just feels like a 
purposeful place. It's completely void of any buttons at all. So jumping from something like the F12 or the Speciali where this thing is smattered in buttons, all of the controls which are on these stalks here are actually on the steering wheel. I'm looking at this and it's just steering wheel. And actually that's quite a refreshing experience because it's just it just says to you driving. That's you know, driver. I like this.